Senate, the 18th matter of unfinished business. Senate reports from the Committee on Health and Human Services on Bill and Act to Implement Managed Care in the Main Care Program, tabled March 11th, 2014, by Senator Craven of Androscoggin. Pending acceptance of either report, the Chair recognizes the Senator from Androscoggin, Senator Craven. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move the majority ought to pass as amended report. I wish to speak to my motion. The Senator from Androscoggin, Senator Craven, moves the majority ought to pass as amended report be accepted. The Chair recognizes the Senator from Androscoggin, Senator Craven. Thank you, Mr. President, Mr. President, and men and women, women of the Senate. I'm not going to spend a lot of time speaking about LD 1487 today for two reasons. One, people have heard almost all there is to know about this bill. It's been a long time coming. I doubt if there are many minds to change either. Ideology is a very secure jail. I can't keep making, I can't help keep make, but making the following comparison. This past week, the chief executive suggested we spend $50 million to generate 1,500 jobs. But with the stroke of the pen today, we could create 4,000 jobs and cover 70,000 people with health care, including our 3,000 veterans who put their lives on the, on, the, on the line for this country. Passing this bill, it is, it is the economically prudent thing to do. It is ethical. It's the right thing to do. And I ask that you do what's right for the people of Maine. Having been born and brought up a Roman Catholic, the message of social justice is deeply embedded in my psyche. And I am proud to be supporting expanding health care to 70,000 low-income Mainers. I took a bus tour in Lewiston a couple of weeks ago, and I talked to a young person who lost his health care. And in a moment, I'm going to read his story to you. But I would like to remind people in this body that we may feel very superior because we have private insurance, but I would remind people that our private insurance is paid for on the public dime as well. So I will read the story from the young man that was on the bus in Lewiston whom I met. And here it is. I'm one of the thousands of people in Maine who lost their Maine care January 1st. I suffer from PTSD, a mood and an anxiety disorder for which I take medications to manage my symptoms every day. My medication will, uh, will run out soon, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Now that I've lost my main care, I can't get counseling, and soon I won't be able to get my medications either. I'm, re I'm already out of my anxiety medication, and I'm almost out of my depression med. And the last time that I went off this medication, I was hospitalized. I also suffer from chronic pain. I have... Uh, I should ask the doctor how to pronounce this, but uh, sciatica and carpal tunnel syndrome, which was work-related, and from when I worked at, Morham Brick, at the Morham Brickyard. The last time I saw a doctor, he found cysts on my kidneys, which suggests I might have psychocystic kidney disease, PKD. I don't know how I'll be able to follow up on those serious health issues. I have no way to pay uh, for my medications or to see a counselor or to, or to help me manage my anxiety and my PTSD. Since the legislature refused to expand main care, I live in fear every day. There are real human costs um, to this issue, and I am one of them. And I can't imagine when this man has an emergency because that he has cysts on his kidneys, how much it's going to cost to for him to have surgery, uh, for him to rebuild, re be, re be rehabilitated, or for any follow-up. I really, I would love and ask for you uh, to do the right thing for the people of Maine today. Thank you, Mr. President.